Hello everyone. Today I am here to talk to you a little bit about Vista. It is everyone's worst nightmare, I know, but I would just like to give you a few tips and also uh, fill you in on something you might not know about. So, let's take a quick look here. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the fact that uh, it's very uh, overly ridiculous about anything security. So, if you are wanting to basically open up any program or application, it is going to ask you about a thousand times for permission. And that is a little obnoxious to get used to. One thing that I do want to bring to your attention is that um, I've noticed that a lot of things that I normally would run, uh, that would run smoothly, uh, have issues. For instance, I play Battlefield 2, and when I try to enter it, I usually get kicked from servers uh, for, for punk buster reasons, which doesn't make any sense because um, I have a very legal copy of it, and I'm not doing anything wrong. So I looked into the matter a little bit more. Uh, it seems like pretty much every problem I have is fixed if I right click on it and then run as administrator. If I don't do that, I have a lot of issues. Another thing I was running into is I used to use Vent, uh, or I, sorry, I use Vent and I use TeamSpeak while I'm in uh, playing Battlefield 2, for instance. And I noticed that one thing that was happening is uh, I'd be able to talk to somebody on Vent or TeamSpeak, I'd go into game, and then they'd no longer be able to hear me. I could still hear them, but they could not hear me. I solved this problem yesterday by once again right-clicking on it and running as administrator. Quite a simple fix. Sounds easy, and it is. There are going to be problems with Vista. There's always problems, it seems like. Um, things, Some things are, don't run as well, or sometimes there's just a lot of problems that they have communicating. Uh, one thing is I bought four and I used to like making four creatures and I can no longer play that because my disk drive does not talk with Vista and the game. It was fine on XP, not so good on Vista. So that's one thing that's a bummer for me. But when I was messing around yesterday, I found something very fun. Let me just take you over here and show you. Okay, <clears throat> there is my computer screen. Ooh, that goes on forever. Anyways, let's just stick this somewhere else. Okay, now I know you can see what's going on. Okay, so here is my desktop, as you can see, and uh, here is what I'm going to show you. Okay, let's start. Start listening. Start menu. Internet. Kittens. Search. Five. Okay. Images. Images. One. Okay. Show numbers. 49. Okay. Scroll down. Scroll up. See full size image. See full size image. Close. Start calculator. Two. Okay. Close calculator. Open WordPad. Dear John, comma. Next paragraph. Oops. <laughs> Comma. New paragraph. Hello. Comma. How are you? Question mark. Undo. Backspace. 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 Close.
don't save. So as you can see, quite interesting. You can really navigate around quite a bit. Stop listening. There. It made it ignore me now. But anyways, I had a lot of fun with this yesterday. I played with it for a couple hours, did a tutorial, and let it get to know my voice a little bit better. It's quite fun to just uh, use voice recognition to navigate around, and uh, it can be kind of useful. I ate a sandwich at lunch, and I didn't have to take my hands off my sandwich. I'm sure that's all we need, is more ways to use the computer for longer during our day. Anyways, I this is found, I believe, let me just double check. <clears throat> I think I found this in all programs and I believe it was either in accessories let's find it do 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 I think it's in uh, yeah there it is okay so if you go into your all programs then your accessories then you go under another folder called ease of access uh, and it's called Windows speech recognition and what a fun little thing it is I I really have a good time with it you might want to give it a try uh, definitely get used to um, the commands I just tried it right away without figuring out any of the commands uh, and, and figured out most of them by myself. There was a couple that I couldn't figure out. I didn't know the show numbers, obviously, so uh, I didn't know how to navigate around and click on things that aren't obvious or have um, words that you can read off of your screen. And uh, you can say things like right-click or double-click or um, just click on, depending on what kind of thing it is. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you do too. And I do want to say with for Vista. It sure is aesthetically pleasing, but it can be a real pain in the ass. So think hard before you make that choice. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.